Hi friends, it's Monica and let's watch episode 2 of Shadow and Bone season 1. So if you have not watched my first video on episode 1 of Shadow and Bone season 1, um, I would recommend you to watch that first and I'm just going to get right into this episode. So spoiler warning if you have not yet watched this episode. So I feel like with Alina and Mal, they are playing so much, they being the directors, writers, so on, they're playing so hard on their childhood friendship and that makes a lot of sense because Elena and Mal are pretty much all they have known for years and years and years so there are subtle hints here and there I won't say more if you haven't read the books but overall I do really like how they are portraying them and that intro sequence of like the smooth transition I really like how they do that and let's keep watching So I think this is the first meeting of Alina and the Darkling, or General Kirigan. So intimidating already. Closer. She just takes one step. <laughs> what are you? Alina Starkov, assistant cartographer, Royal Corps of Surveyors. It's my fault. Kind of her fault. <laughs> but like, in the end, she was trying to go with Mal and just not be separated from him since there was a really high chance of him dying on the uh, trip across the fold. Oh, poor Mal. How can he compete? <laughs> How can he compete? Corporal, you're wounded. She's in trouble. So, you gotta give it to Mal. He is really determined. He he obviously cares and like loves for Alina so much. And you gotta give it to him that he doesn't give up to find out what's happening and such with her. His dark magic. The other side of like Alina and the Darkling, the Dark Leadership, I under- I completely understand why people ship them. He's just like intimidating. I get it. I completely get it. Of course she calls for me now. What's in the menagerie? And I think over here we see a little glimpse into Inertia's past and I haven't read the Six of Crows duologies since uh, a long time ago by now and I don't remember all the details of, of each Six of Crows character. With Inertia's background, it's really nice to kind of see the subtle hints at that and we do get to learn more of her. Never make decisions out of fear, Jasper. Only out of spite. And with Kaz, we do see a little hint of his background as well with Pekka Rollins and the tension that's between Pekka and Kaz. Get in. No. There's been a mistake. I need to find Mal. Alina and Mal, they're always like looking for each other. And again, it, it's just a, a testament to their strong friendship. Mal! Alina! Mal! And again, I feel like Mal and Alina, they're always running after each other. Mal especially like physically running after her. It might be like just me looking into imagery and then Alina's in like the black carriage and she's taken without her consent and Mal's just chasing after her trying to always track her down. The menagerie, I think that's how you pronounce it, with a nage. So many knives, it's just her character. <laughs> so with a nage and the madame at the menagerie. She's offering an edge to do an another job for her since Kaz has taken an edge and they like, paid off her indentureship, but it's not completely paid off just yet. So this madame is just like trying to get an edge to do another job for her, like assassinate someone. So again, a little bit of context to this clip. Alina is in the carriage and they're on the way to the little palace but they got ambushed and now here's Alina reacting to that. And I guess we have different languages too. I forgot about that. And of course Alina, she's still claiming to be a map maker when she's kind of just navigating this new discovery that she's the chosen one and she has this magical power that could save her country and save her the continent really <laughs> well the shadows are so cool one point about that entire sequence was that i didn't realize that 
the cut like you can see like the formation of like a blade edge in the darkness i don't know just like little details like i didn't really catch before and i think that's just really cool i really like the buildup of um the darkling like saving lena but that is not a jesper talent i shoot things with style and i look good <laughs> of jesper <laughs> Handsome decoy is also not a joke. And just first, the distraction. If you could see her subtle jumping back, she's still really unsure of what the hell is going on. Who the heck this guy is. But I think we, we do see her grow closer to the Darkling. Destroy it from within. With proper training, some amplification, you could well be the No. Same. And I think over here when she's saying no, and Alina's kind of being defined against him and I think he's a little bit like taken aback he's like whoa someone's saying no to me and the all-powerful darkling and someone's saying no ooh intriguing you want to know why you've never found someone with this power maybe it's because they don't want to be found she makes a good point <laughs> what do you want dirty hands I need to find someone he's a king you're just the bastard of the barrel and I just really liked how they included Kaz's nicknames of being Bastard of the Barrel and the Dirty Hands reference and how he's always wearing clothes. I like how the backdrop of the little palace, it's really pretty. Am I a prisoner? Yes, you are, girl, you are. <laughs> All of Ravka is. And I feel her crying here is showing how her character is not falling for all of this and glamour and everyone saying, oh my god, you're this chosen one. And she's like, well, I just want to go back to my friends and not be here. And it's quite obvious that she doesn't trust anyone because like, she's like looking for a weapon. Now she's gonna have to deal with it, with where she is now and how she's been dragged from all that she's known into this new world and saying that oh you're the savior of all of us that's a big transition for someone now again is on his way to track alina what are you doing keeping a friend from making a mistake it's not a mistake but then he's stopped by his friends and they're basically saying like oh it's better if you gain some glory and honor to be recognized and be invited into the little palace instead of like sneaking in a secret from him isn't he mad at her you fools the i really like that line when our closest friend is in trouble we do foolish things the crow club and this is his way Cass's way to show that he cares for anash it's all yours to lose <laughs> And I, I really like this ending of this episode. I remember this part. Um, and like the parallels of them, of Alina and Mal missing each other. And I think with just like simple camera work, they did such a good job with establishing, again, their, their friendship and how they care for each other and that they will do whatever it takes to get back to one another. But it will only just get more complex from here on out. And it's not as that simple as when they were back in their childhood um, boarding school. So that was the end of episode two. And uh, my thoughts on this episode is the great buildup of Alina learning more of her powers and kind of seeing what the Darkling is capable of and what the Darkling and basically all of Ravka is expecting from Alina. And with the Crow's storyline of trying to find out how they could cross the fold safely and we find out more about Inej's past. So let's keep on watching. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and don't forget to ring that notification bell to not miss any future uploads. I'll see y'all soon.